Okay, we've got our initial sparse point cloud. When you go to do the dense cloud, be sure to check Calculate Point Confidence under Advance, Calculate Point Confidence. Okay, great. So, the dense cloud has finished processing. That took a few minutes, and we zoom in here, and it uh, looks good, but we've got some straight points. Now, of course, we could go in, and we could select each point, blah, 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 delete, but our time is precious, right? So, since we checked that little box earlier, it means that we can do something called filter by confidence. First things first, I'm going to save the project, and then I'm going to save a backup of the project. Let's have a second copy of this project because some of these edits that we're, we're going to make are destructive edits. I'm going to go to Tools, Dense Cloud, and Filter by Confidence. Now in this range, uh, we're going to put minimum zero. We're going to leave that maximum. We're going to do, let's just do one. What this does is it shows points that Agisoft is not very confident are actually there. Now that we're, we can see all of these points, um, we haven't actually gotten rid of them. Select them all, hit delete, go to tools, dense cloud, and then compact dense cloud, yes. What this has done now, as you can see, compared to the other one, it's cleaned up quite a few points. Now, unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough. As you can see, we still have some straight points, and unfortunately, it looks like we lost some, some details on the bottom there, making it not always the most ideal solution, but quick and dirty. Now, I'm pretty confident just removing these ones manually at this point, but if we wanted to push it further, just for demonstration's sake, go to Tools, Filter by confidence, and this time we're going to do minimum zero, maximum two. Hit OK. Now we're seeing a lot more points here. Go and delete those tools, dense cloud, uh, compact dense cloud, yes. And now, as we can see, it's super, super clean. None of those floating points are there. By upping that threshold a bit, minus some vegetation down there so it's again it's not perfect but now i guess the issue is right you go in underneath the gravestone here we lost a lot of points now luckily it's flat so there will be some texture interpolation this is just a quick and dirty way to clean everything up get everything nice and clean for um, scenes that have a lot of maybe floating points and things like that hope you found this tutorial useful have a nice day folks